Hello, I'm Robert from Online Cash Registers and I'd like to demonstrate our Toshiba STA10 scanning system. The system is to be designed to be very easy to use, very compact and out of the box solution which means basically once you've got it, it takes about 30 minutes to set up and you can start using your machine. What we have here with our equipment is a cash drawer we use an Orbit scanner, which is probably the most popular and fastest scanner you can get for the retail market. And you also get thermal printer for your customer receipts and all of your reports. And the idea of the system is you don't need a back office, you don't need mouse, and you don't need a keyboard. We can simply start scanning as soon as we've set it up. We scan an item, and what will happen is the system will say we have no price for that item. So we just press OK put the cost of the item in and put it into the relevant department, on this occasion, Grocery Non-Vat. If it's in the system, it'll tell you what it is. If we press save, you've now sold the item and at the same time you've programmed it. So if we scan it again, it'll come up with the item and there's no more programming that needs to be done. And what this system will also do for you is print your labels for the shelves. We've got a quick shelf edge label button here. If we press that, simply scan the items Press the print button, choose the receipt printer, what size label you want, and that will then issue the shelf face labels which can go on your shelf. What we also have over here is an option for the customers that is a rear advertising display, which as you can see, when it's not in use, you've got full, full page advertising of all your offers and any other information you want to put on the machine. As we start to use the machine, you will see on there what happens to the screen we scan something, the screen will automatically split into two where you've got your advertising on one side and the products that your customers purchasing on the other side so it also acts as the customer display. As you can see with the alcohol products you've got the check age coming up the customer can also see that you're going to be asking them to verify their age with some form of ID. If the customer can't produce ID we can say no to the sale here and it will give you a list of reasons as to why not you're going to sell the product. So we're going to choose no ID for the customer and press OK. And what that does, it cancels the product so the customer hasn't purchased it. We can continue with the sale. And we get to the end and finish off customer paying £10. And the change to give also is displayed on the rear screen. If the customer wants the receipt. Again, we just press the receipt button on the screen and you'll get a sale receipt for the last sale. Now, one of the features of this is if you get a customer who's been into the shop and they come back five minutes later and say, I think you've charged me wrong or I wanted a receipt, what you can do is if you press the grid on the screen, it will list all of the receipts you've issued that day. So you can go back to find the particular customer and the receipt they had and reprint it. And that allows you then to check the customer to make sure what they purchased they were happy with. We'll just exit the screen there and then we can continue on with the next sale. And again we can just simply scan. We scan a new product. And this time the machine is saying there's no record of this product. We press OK. Enter the price for the product. Put it into the relevant department. On this occasion it will be household. And as you can see there, there's no description for the product. So we can type in what the item is, straight into the machine. Press save. We've now saved the product, so next time you scan the product, it's ready and programmed into the machine. Again, we can subtotal on there. Now if that customer forgets something and they need to go back into the shop to, to find some other items, we can press hold, which holds that particular sale. You can then serve the next customer, Again, ring items in aren't in. If they've got any lottery, we've got lotto on this side. You can put it straight into the lotto button and subtotal. And again, finish the sale. Now, as you can see now, we've got a flashing hold here that identifies the fact that you've got a sale on hold. If we simply press that, the sale will return. You can continue on with that customer. And again, finish the sale set up multi buys on it so if you do deals like you do on the alcohol we go into program mode put in the password go to the multi buy section choose a multi buy ID link the product to the multi buy 
and then simply say how we're going to sell it. And here you can see we're selling four items and we're going to sell those for £7.50. You can also choose an option for price for eight items, which we can put on there at, say, £12.50. You've also got start and stop dates on there, which means you can put in if the offer's for a certain period of time, so you don't have to remember to go back and change the price. And we can also print a ticket for that. Again, put on your shelf and identifies the product and what the offer is for it. We just save the item there and exit. So now when we come to sell the product, we do four items check age and it automatically knocks off the discount because they've bought four. If we buy four more you will then see you've got an extra discount because you've bought eight products. Again come down to here you've got the nearest pound tender key here it's £12.50 customer gives you £13 and that will complete the sale. Again if they want a ticket press the receipt button and you get a fully itemised ticket for that sale.